Our next problem deals with inverses. Give the inverse for each element in the mathematical system. In the previous problem, we found out that the identity element for this mathematical system is equal to x. To find an inverse, we're going to start with each element, put it together with its inverse, and come up with the identity, which is going to be x. So we're going to have to have x put together with its inverse equal to x, y put together with its inverse equal to x, and z put together with its inverse equal to x. And that has to be true in both directions. In other words, this should also equal the inverse put together with x, and in the other order with y, and in the other order with z. So let's check that now. When we start with x, we need to come up with the value of x as the result. And that's going to occur when we put x together with itself. And of course, that's going to be commutative. Let's look at y. We come up with the value of x as the result when we put y together with z. And we can see, then, if we start with z and put that together with y, we also come up with x. So this is going to be z. Now, that kind of takes care of the next line, because we can see that z and y are going to be inverses of each other. So we find out that the inverse of x is x, and the inverse of y is z, and of course, then, the inverse of z is y.